This is the fifth video in the series, how to teach your dog to heal. Uh, this exercise we're gonna be doing today is actually not only good for healing, but it's good for, um, for your service dog. For example, if you're at the mall and somebody dropped food, you don't want your dog to go for the food, so he's gonna come to you and look at you instead of uh, going for food on the floor or any type of distraction. Uh, it comes handy with healing because you want to keep that nice healing when he's paying attention to you if you want to do competition. Uh, we're not talking about competition uh, dogs here we're talking more about service dog so let's go ahead and start working hello everybody my name is Edgar Rodriguez and this is Kip my service dog and if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do ring the bell that way you get notified every time we post a new video in Kip so, so the first thing is we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take treats and you're gonna have a treat in your hand, you're gonna throw it on the floor. Yes! And you're gonna reward him when he looks at you. So we throw another one. Yes! And we reward. So now, we, now we're gonna add a little bit of movement to that. Uh, we're gonna drop one on the floor. Yes! And add some movement. One on the floor. Yes! You want to wait for him to look at you before you reward you. Yes! You don't want to call him or pull his leash to make him look at you. Right now, we are at the park. There's some uh, kids playing in the background. He's sometimes looking over there, but then he comes back to me. Yes! And that's when I reward. You want to have a little bit of patience and wait. Wait for him to look at you before you reward. He never let him pick up the treats that you throw on the floor. Not even at the end of the exercise, don't allow him to go for those. You have to pick up those by hand um, because you don't want him to get reward for the ones that he's supposed to leave behind. So we throw another one on the floor. Yes! And now we're adding a little bit of movement as we do this. One more on the floor. We're gonna throw another one. Yes, good boy. He dropped that one. Yes, and I let him take that one because uh, that one he dropped it um, when I was given to him, so that was his. The ones on the floor, even though he's smelling around, the other ones are like right there's one, there's one. He he knows where they are. He can smell them. But you can't allow him to take them. Yes. One thing you always have to keep in mind, you don't want to give him one treat and that's it every time. You want to reward him with multiple treats. Like you say yes, you give him one, but you, sometimes you say yes and you give him a bunch. You don't give it a bunch together in your hand, it's one at a time, because for him that's multiple rewards, because that way he will keep more attention on you. Yes. Yes! Good boy! Yes! 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 You see, right now we have a lot of treats on the floor. He's looking at them. No! Yes! And you correct. You can correct with N.O. Uh, when he's trying to go for them. He was smelling, kind of smelling the floor, so I stopped him before he get to the point that was too far for me, and I have to maybe give him a correction with the leash. I don't want to do that. Today, I'm only using a sleep leash. Uh, this is not much. Let me show you really quick. This is a sleep leash. Keep note. There you go. Good. So, there's no much leash pressure for him with the leash, uh, with a uh, sleep leash, but I don't want to have to correct him. So I don't, before he gets too close to it, I will say no, no, and stop in. And when he look at me, yes, yes, I reward. This is gonna be it for today. If this video was useful, make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. 